Hello guys, Noel here again. In this video, I'm gonna going over on understanding about inspection and test plan or ITP. For its activity on a construction site, there will be a corresponding method statement as well as inspection and test plan, including checklists shall be developed. But if you're new to this channel, please subscribe and click the bell icon so that you'll get notified every time I post a new video. I've experienced in one of the projects that I've involved with was we did not have ITP in the very beginning but when a newly appointed quality manager came into play after a few months when the project begins then the development of inspection and test plan had started. I was thankful that my new manager was so knowledgeable about the proper documentation. I learned a lot with him. Since then, I learned more about making ITP. How happy are you if you are with a leader who has a vast knowledge of the quality system? It will definitely rub off on you, right? Inspection and test plan is one of the most important project documents that you need to provide for its activity and it must be prepared way ahead before the start of the activity. You will lose on your inspections if you will not prepare ITP. I am telling you this because that was my experience. I don't want to happen it to you guys. So without further ado, here is the explanation about inspection and test plan. But before moving on, I'm gonna give you the meaning of ITP. An inspection and test plan is the program of inspection, testing of materials and survey shall be prepared and submitted by the contractor to the engineer for approval before uses and application to the site. And also the meaning of checklist. A list of items shall be noted or checked in a completed activity. It is always attached to the inspection request to be signed by concerned parties once the inspection is approved. Inspection and test plan is made and issued by the quality engineer. It should then be reviewed by a quality manager, construction manager, and approved by project manager before it shall submit to the engineer or consultant, as it is always required by the contract or specifications. Method statement and inspection and test plan, including checklist, shall be submitted to the engineer for approval. The QAQC engineer shall maintain a register of all inspections and test plans including checklists. The QQC engineer shall maintain a complete master set of approval inspection and test plans. The inspection process shall have the inspection criteria for every inspection and test plan item. Here are the following. Surveillance stands for S in the inspection and test plan. Random attendance at site, no signature required on the inspection request or IR or its accompanying documentation. Execution stands for E. Attendance at the site is a must. The signature is always on inspection request and checklist. Witness or W. Attendance at the site is expected. The signature is required on check sheet of inspection request and checklist but if the signatory is not present to sign at the time follow on work may proceed and the documents to be signed off later hold point or edge attendance at the site is mandatory and signature is required on the check sheet of the inspection request at the time of the inspection to release the following work Review or R. Documents to be reviewed, no signature required on the inspection request or its accompanying documentation. Records or RE. Documentation to be recorded, no signature required on the inspection request or its accompanying documentation. Test or T. Attendance is required, signature required on the check sheet of inspection request and checklist. Here is the sample format of the inspection and test plan that you can, you know, also download from the description below. Here is also the format of the checklist. All right. It will have a great impact on a project if there is ITP established. 
the easiest of writing your inspection description, writing the code or specification, identification of the inspection action code, and knowing the acceptance criteria of a specific activity, almost everything is in an inspection and test plan. It is a blueprint of inspection. So start making it and surely you'll amaze on what will happen with your project. To those who would like to ask a soft copy of this format, you can download it on the description below. I link that. Do you use the same ITP template or format? If you use that, please comment yes in the comment section below. Alright, so don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so that you'll get notified every time uh, I post a new video. Alright, thank you for watching.